and welcome to library time. My name is Rachel. For those of you who have been missing me like I've been missing program, I'm back and I'm so excited to share uh, some stories and some new books with you. First things first, I want to tell you guys about our awesome summer reading program we have this year. So since we can't see your beautiful faces in person, we've gone online and it's a really great platform called Beanstack. But if you're already reading at home with the kids or want to do something fun with the kids, um, please go to the Georgina website. You'll see in Kids and Teens, our Summer Reading 2020, and it will tell you all the information you need to know about Beanstack. Um, if you're already watching the videos um, on Facebook uh, and uh, YouTube for the Georgina Public Library, they already count for some of your reading time. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but we're so excited to share that with you guys. We wanna make sure everybody in Georgina knows about it because we're still doing the school trophy. So you still have a chance to help your school get the numbers uh, in to win the school trophy for the fall. So that's really exciting. We want to see your school's name on that plaque. And you're also going to have a chance to win prizes each week at our weekly draws, which are going to be with Abigail, activities with Abigail on Wednesdays. So when you sign up, you'll have to watch that video and find out. But first off, I'm just going to go through some new books with you. Since you can't come into the branch in person, we want to share some things that were really exciting with you guys. So here we have the book Stargazing. This one is really great. It's a tween kind of uh, graphic novel. Um, so it's really great if you liked the Smile books or the Raina Tegemeyer books, these are great. It's got a lot of beautiful images in there. Really fun story, really easy read. So I highly recommend this one. And I'm gonna present to you Georgina the Public Library's newest dinosaur book. This is great because it's a board book too. So for our younger readers, it's got all the great scientific names for the tools to find those dinosaurs and the actual dinosaurs names and I'm sure your parents and other grown-ups will not know some of these names they are difficult so everybody can learn something from this book and it's awesome because it's got dinosaurs and we have a kid on the farm so this one's kind of fun it's about this rooster who gets a little sad when there's a, a new kid a little baby goat there coming in and uh, taking some of the attention away from the rooster and it's kind of a fun one with the kids and a uh, really great lesson in there. The Way Home for Wolf. This one is beautiful illustrations in here. I'm just going to show you guys some of them. Look at that beautiful starry sky. And a fun cartoon kind of uh, wolves in there. Just absolutely beautiful artwork and a nice story. So if you're doing the Summer Reading Club program, and we want all of you guys to do the Summer Reading Club program, especially if you're watching the videos. So for library time, you're gonna get two books if you're doing the Family Reading Challenge. So that's two books just for watching this video, because I'm gonna read a story and our guest reader is gonna read a story, and I'll introduce them in a moment. Um, and uh, I'm going to also just share with you this last book before I read a new book. Um, this one's really, really funny. So. This is my first animal book, Crossed Out, This is a Dog. So this one is great, especially for um, the kids who are doing some just beginner reading too. There's only a few words on each page, but it is hilarious. You wanna see what this dog gets up to, because let me tell you, it gets in a little bit of trouble, but it's pretty great. So I'm just going to get to uh, show you the next book I will be reading. This one is really fun. I'm gonna read it to you in this video, but the coolest thing about this book is it's two stories in one. So we'll go through it this way here, and then we're going to turn it upside down and flip it around and get another story all in the same book. So this is really cool, really exciting book. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys, and I'm just gonna read it in just a moment. So On My Mountain. The wolf and the shepherd both call the mountain home. How can such different creatures coexist in this space? A story about sharing your environment and your point of view, read one perspective and then flip over to read the other. By Francis Albino. This here is my mountain. This is where I live, where I sleep and where I eat. On my mountain, there are many beautiful things. But there is also danger on my mountain. 
And then there's the other, the one I try to avoid, the one my ancestors and I have been fearing for so long. But the mountain is my home and it is where I feel safe and happy. My mountain is not easy to share, but surely it is big enough to fit everyone who loves it. This here is my mountain. This is where I live, where I sleep, where I eat. On my mountain, there are many beautiful things. But there is also danger on my mountain. And then there's the other, the one I try to avoid, the one my ancestors and I have been fearing for so long. But the mountain is my home, and it is where I feel safe and happy. My mountain is not easy to share, but surely it is big enough to fit everyone who loves it. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching that uh, reading of that great book called On My Mountain with us. And I'm just going to introduce our next reader. You guys are going to be really excited about this. Patrick is reading Robert Munch's book. And Robert Munch, if you guys know me, is one of my all-time favorite authors. He's so much fun. I love the illustrations. I love the stories. And this book is going to be called Something Good. And for those of you who are doing our Summer Reading Club Challenge, I'm going to let you know our secret word. So it's, shh, it's secret. Don't tell your friends. They all have to watch the video to find out the secret word for this week. The secret word is going to be yummy. And you'll find out why yummy is a secret word when you watch Patrick read something good from Robert Munch. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, my name is Patrick, and again, uh, like I did the last time, I picked another story by Robert Munch. Now, one of the things I love about this story by Robert Munch is it actually has his children in it. Um, every single one of Robert Munch's books that he's picked have actually been based around real life children and, exa and examples that people have mailed into him. So, some of his stories, if you've ever listened to uh, Mortimer, somebody just happened to have a really loud child and they sent him a little note explaining exactly how he was behaving. And what did he do? He made a story about it. So without any further ado, this is Something Good by Robert Munch. You notice down here, he says, to Taya, Andrew, Julie, and Anne Munch in Guelph, Ontario. So Robert Munch just lives about an hour and a half away from us here in Georgina. And Taya, Andrew, and Julie are his three children. So Taya went shopping with her father and her brother and her sister. She pushed the cart up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle. And Taya said, sometimes my father doesn't buy good food. He gets bread, eggs, milk, cheese, spinach, nothing any good. He doesn't buy ice cream or cookies, chocolate bars, oh, or ginger ale. Oops, skip the page. So Taya very quietly snuck away from her father and got a cart of her own. She pushed it over to the ice cream. And then she put a hundred boxes of ice cream into her cart. Now, I don't know about you guys, I've never seen a hundred boxes of ice cream fit in a tiny little shopping cart. But she pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Father turned around and yelled, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food. Oh no, said her father. This is sugary junk. It will rot your teeth. It will lower your IQ. Put it all back. 
So Taya put back the 100 boxes of ice cream. Now, she meant to go right back to her father, but on the way she had to pass the candy. You know what she did? She put 300 chocolate bars into her cart. Now, if they're tiny little Halloween candy sizes, I could see those fitting into her shopping cart, but I don't think she picked those ones. If you look in the picture, that's a pretty big shopping cart. And then she went and she pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look! Father turned around and said, Yikes! Taya said, Daddy, good food. Oh no, said her father. This is sugary junk. Put it all back. So Taya put back all of the chocolate bars. And then her father said, Okay, Taya. I have had it. You stand there and don't move. Now, somebody usually tells people, tells someone to not move. First thing you want to do is move, but not Taya. Because Taya knew she was in big trouble. So she stood there and didn't move. Some friends came by and said hello. And she didn't move. A man ran over her toe with his cart. So rude of him. But she still didn't move. Finally, a lady who worked at the store came by and looked at Taya. She looked her over from the top down, looked her over from the bottom up. She knocked Taya on the head, and Taya still didn't move. So the lady said, You know, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. It looks almost real so what'd she do she works at the store she thought it was something being sold she put a price tag on her nose that said 29 dollars and 95 cents and then she picked taya up and put her on the shelf with all of the other dolls nice man came along looked at taya he said you know this is the nicest doll i have ever seen I'm going to get that doll for my son. And he picked up Taya by the hair. Taya yelled very loudly, Stop! The man screamed, ah! It's alive! And then he ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 apples. Finally, a lady came along. She looked at Taya and she said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. I think I will buy this doll for my, for my daughter. And so she picked up Taya by the ear. Taya yelled as loudly as she could, stop! The lady screamed, yeah, it's alive! And she ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 oranges. I don't know about anybody else, but I've never been to a shopping, mall, to a shopping center or, or grocery store with this many piles of fruit and vegetables. And then Taya's father came along looking for his daughter. He said, Taya, 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 where are you? Wait, wait, Taya! What are you doing on, your sh on that shelf? Taya said, it's all your fault. You told me not to move and people are trying to buy me. Ah! <laughs> Oh, come now, said her father. I won't let anybody buy you. And he gave Taya a big kiss and a big hug. And then they went to pay for all the food. I think she's really upset. I mean, let's be honest. He did say that he wasn't going to let anybody buy her. And she thought people were just going to take her and walk away with her. Now, the man of the cash register looked at Taya and said, Hey, mister, you can't take that kid out of the store. You have to pay for her. It says so right on her nose, $29.95. Wait, said the father. This is my own kid. I don't have to pay for my own kid. Now the man, the ca man of the cash register said, if it has a price tag, you have to pay for it. I won't pay, said the father. You've got to, said the man. The father said, no. The man said, yes. Father said, no. The man said, 
Yes. The father and Andrew and Julie all yelled, no. Then Taya very quietly said, Daddy, don't you think I'm worth $29.95? Oh, uh, um, um, I, I, I mean, well, of course you're worth $29.95, said the father. He reached into his wallet, got out of his, got out of the money, paid the man, and took the price tag right off of Taya's nose. Taya gave her father a big kiss and a big hug. And then she said, Daddy, you finally bought something good after all. And then her father picked up Taya, gave her a big long hug, and didn't say anything at all. And they went home, and that was the end. Now, if you look very carefully at the picture here, you're going to notice Taya still got her candy. What else do you see? What else do you see that they got? I can see some vegetables. I can see the whole family getting together. They're all pretty happy.